Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. It started me off here. I was pretty sure I had gone up that way. I'm not really sure. Not really sure, but we died. We died multiple times, and we are doing something today that, uh, or we're taking a different approach, basically. I'm gonna go as far off as I can. Should I buy m mm. It is all very risky. This is a deadly world, and I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. The, my problem is that if I just keep going towards the uh, event horizon, whatever that is, what is this thing over here? <laughs> Um, it's to the edge, uh, the edges of the world, or, or the sky, I guess. Please don't crash. Thank you. Uh, I will just run out of, uh, supplies. And th that's a bit of an issue. Also, I really need to, uh, to send the bat, but I don't want to. Spores float. Yeah, we heard that before. We heard that before. Um, yeah, I just, I need, I need the supplies, so I'll not send the bat out. Is that a bad idea? Ooh, no, that's, uh, one of the tackities. Hello, Mr. Tackety! How's it going? Hello, ahoy! I don't know, Victorian mump lingo. I was gonna say mumbo jumbo. I don't believe that is the correct word. Also, we are out in the open skies, and I believe that is the reason why we get terror. Look at that. See? Kinda looks like it. Oh, that's that that'd be a, neat, a cool thing. If that is indeed the case. So I'm going north for a for a, a, a bit. A tad, that's the word I wanted to say. Van Zessen Waste. I believe that Z there is substituting another letter that is, makes it a reference to something, and I don't know what it makes it a reference to because I'm an un uncultured, uh, unworldly man. What do we have over here? The Han Yang. A detritus of yet another skirmish in the Winchester War. The red gleams with frost. Its windows are dark, its engine silent. And we have a 64% chance to succeed. We do indeed. To enter through the shattered windscreens, your driver pulls your locomotive alongside the wreck, close enough for you to leap from one to the other. The floor of the bridge is carpeted with glass fragments. It shines like stars in your lamplight and tickles like bells when your boots brush it. A sky chest nailed to the floor at the back of the bridge yields to your efforts. There's something in the bulging sack. It's money. We got money. Money is good. Especially because it's basically one more. More than one. Oh. Uh, more than one uh, supply. Okay. So right now. Because we need to go to a. We need to find a... Let's go this way. We need to find a uh, a city. One specific city. Port. Uh, ooh! Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. There's something ahead, isn't it? I didn't know. I didn't know. Look at me. Dodging all the things. I didn't do it on purpose, by the way. Oh, this is getting worse. Uh, that mushroom over there has eyes. Oh, and there's tentacles in the background. Oh, this is not going to do good things for my... Horror. Why am I here? Why did I do this? Okay. Uh. I'm gonna send the bat out. I think our horror is going up. We found. What can what I can only assume is a port. Yeah, let's go. It's probably gonna be the Cthulhu land. We know it is. Okay, that looked like a, a house or something, but it's not. Also, we- I can hear- oh, it's a soundtrack. Yeah, okay, this looks like a dead end, let's go. We're gonna get a port, and we have a little bit of money, so I'm okay with- with, uh, exploring this way. And, what do we have? A terrible thing! I am gonna die, that's what we have. Okay, that's interesting. That was, uh, risky. I'm firing as many as I can. That's good. Okay. Ooh. Battle of Culversion. No, it's Culverston. Okay, what do we have? We are good on the things over here. You approach the buckled wreckage, and I can loot or strip. Let's look. Um, 
Okay, more bulging sacks, and that wasn't the strip wasn't necessary. Wait a minute, it was. Wait, let's go. Um, can I go through the junk? Excuse me, may I? Okay, the junk floats above us. Ooh, also, what is that? Okay, we got one fuel. This is good news. And we have Canaan's hand. Excuse me, sir, may I land? How does this work? This looks very dangerous. I don't like the red lag, the red lights. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. I'm concerned about that though, more than anything else. Yeah, you're not going mi to get, get me, mate. I mean, maybe you are. Oh, that was great. Oh, it kind of propelled him forward, which was weird. Okay. Oh, there's many of them. I am definitely not going to around stay around here. We're we're leaving. Where are we going? Uh, we have things over there. I didn't notice that we had things over there. I'll come back later. I know you guys are here, and I'll I'll just need to come back. Unless some of you want to come with me, because I would enjoy. The, no? Okay. What? May maybe? Nope. We're out of combat. Oh, it, it zoomed back in. Did you notice? There was, like, a, a different state. Like a, a thing that happened when they turned off their lights. Well, we know where to go. Um, yeah, I'm going there, definitely. Maybe not right away. Or maybe right away, because uh, of the reloading that I'm doing. I'm not really sure... I'm not really sure if it's a bad way to first experience this game by doing a, a non-permadeath run. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Because the... That's why I'm not really sure. I say I don't know. Uh, that looks very far away. This is bad news. Uh, because the thing is, like, if you're doing something and you're not aware of what the implications of what you're doing are. At the same time, it can be very thrilling and interesting, but the consequences being so draconian as you die um, for a first playthrough, I think, are can be, I don't know. For a let's play, it changes things different, uh, changes things, basically, for a let's play. So, I can justify for myself using the non perma death mode. Also, who's shooting? Also, don't, don't crash against that. The eye mountain. Oh, this is good. I I think. I don't... Why, why are you making sounds? It's bad news. Okay. Okay, what is that? In sky suits and spore masks, your crew hauls a porous asteroid aboard. The top half of its uh, of uh, the top half is veiled by a mesh of fungus, like minty crinoline, lichen of all shades cling to the underside of the rock in an iridescent coating. I'm sorry, I had to take a sip of, of tea here. I, I'm drinking tea, which is much. Much in theme, I suppose. Uh, destroy the fungus. That's gonna be bad. We have 64 over there. We have 45. And we have 34. Now that is gonna... Educate... Elucidate... Mm, inform our choices here. We can scrape it for supplies. We can destroy. Or we can study the fungus. Which I would enjoy. But I'm bad at that. I may, maybe that's a bad idea. Or harvest the lichen. A risky proposition. It would, wouldn't it? Let's try and study it. And see if... Oh, we succeeded. It does not respond to movement, heat, or light. It does, however, seem inclined towards sound, emitting a puff of spores in the direction of two chattering crewmen. You perform further experiments. It ignores the noise of the engines and is unresponsive to music. But it does respond to singing. Apparently, the fungus likes voices, and I got a vision of heaven. Was that a good thing? Maybe. And you're making noise, and I can hear the things. Let's loot the hold. I can hear more things shooting. What do we have? Uh, more bulging sacks. Give me all of them. More money. Okay. This is... Actually, I don't... I would prefer not getting the money, but... Whatever. We're doing our thing. And this is a very one-way road. Is that an enemy? Is that what that thing means? Please don't kill me because I'm doing things... Oh, no. It's a... Remains of a celestial behemoth rotting gently. Oh, this is bad news! Oh, maybe. Okay. Uh, Faithful. That sounds good. I, uh, I kind of don't want to fight there. But, oh, no. No, no. This is bad news. Okay. I am so out of here. You guys can have fun. 
I don't trust any of you. No! Okay, yes. Oh, my God. Okay, everybody's unconcerned. Untroubled, not unconcerned. They are very concerned about all that is uh, transpiring. Oh, but I think we're on the right track over here. It looks... Oh, there's things in there. Hmm. Did I miss something? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. But that is the name. Why? Wait a minute. What is this? Why does that look like... What the heck is that? Also, don't crash against this. The incautious driver fingers twitch in pr protest at Hydra's sleepy atmosphere. It's Hydra's, not Hydra's. It does look like a Hydra. A new port. The crew are eager to see what it has to offer. I am as well. Hybras, it's what we are. Where we are, I mean. And we gotta level up. Almost. Let's talk. This doesn't look like death. Why would it look like death? It doesn't. A fledgling colony trying to dig its fingernails deep enough into the spongy fungal fabric of the rich to cling on when hard times come. That is one sentence right there. It is a sad truth that many more settlements are founded then flourish. And uh, this is Hybris. Nestled amidst sprawling, sporing gardens of fungus, Hydro Hybris is a colony of octogenarians. People of 80 years old or older. Actually, I think they need to be in the, the, the sort of decade of 80 years old. Otherwise, it would be a non-octogenarian? Non 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 it's non. It's got like a non to it. Anyway. Um, nestled in, yeah, rotting buildings, sl slow, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, I think I've seen it before, I think I know what it is, gently into decay, maintenance is poor, the population aged, an insect speckled with fungus flies fast, uh, flies fast, drowsily, growth asks no license, oh no, that's, that's a, a sign that says that. That wasn't anybody saying it. That uh, it's staked into a collapsed pile of fungal eggs. So that sounds like a fun time. A slow day. A retiring filmmaker. When you don't have a retiring filmmaker. What is that? There isn't much going on today. It seems people, people seem exhausted. Okay, gather a port report. I'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, not much seemed to happen in this sleepy place, but perhaps someone will be interested. Let's go with that. Life moves slowly here. There are arguments over the rules of bowls and the correct amount of time to steep tea. The station master seems to avoid the villagers. There is an unusual, unique quality to the starlight which filters through the underside of the caps. The caps, mushroom caps, I would assume. Uh, and I have a port report, which is lovely. Uh, let's go with a, the a venerable, venerable welcoming party has gathered. The wizened mayor approaches. His back is bent, but his pace is steady. He has a firm handshake. Welcome to our little hideaway. Watch your step. That one's about to fruit. True enough, the little white sack at your feet suddenly spills. Sorry, splits. Snack, snaking tendrils of red fungus explode outwards. The mayoral assistant, which is... the why isn't my, oh no, that's another person, I assume. A severe woman of slightly less advanced years guides the mayor to a nearby bench. You may stay as long as you like, she says. Something is changing in Hybris. Ooh, exciting. Well, I guess that's what we got. Maybe not. I can take a tea. Oh, I'm definitely taking a tea. I'm taking two teas. Uh, maybe. Uh, I can, yeah, let's take a tea at the Brendan. Wow, that's a lovely a name for a place. The only lodging ho house in Hybris, and the only building with more than one story. The smell of stewed tea permeates the dilapidated boards. A large woman of, of advanced years produces a pot of green tea, which is not what I'm having. I'm having black tea. I don't know if that's the correct English name, though. I need a caffeine, although I'm pretty sure green tea has more caffeine. Anyway, the do uh, and doilies from a... Um, a moldering tea chest. She blows the spores off the cups. Back there, I used to read the leaves on our breaks. And she peers into your finished cup. I'm sorry, I don't see a long future for you, my love. Make the most of what you have. Yes, I will. This is... Uh, my terror has been reduced, however. Which is, uh, I mean, obvious because we drank tea. I don't know how by how much, though. Not that, not that much. Because 
I mean, we barely had any, and now, anyway, we're good. So we can take another tea if we want to. Is this a good thing to, is this a good way to remove terror, I wonder? Uh, I can make a delicate inquiry to the wizened mayor. And that's, this is gonna require uh, a, a question of age. Also, when I have Insula de Brazil, is that, because Brazil is written in the Portuguese way, so it would be Insula de Brazil. If, it, if it's with a Brazilian pronunciation, or how I pronounced it before, if it's with a Portuguese pronunciation. Uh, of course, it t should be the Brazilian one. Uh, make a delicate inquiry. Let's see, everyone here is very old indeed. Delicate. That's why it's said there. <laughs> is there a lower age limit on settling in Hyveras? Yes, this is like li little lamplight, except decent and proper. And with tea. And also makes sense, I guess, because that's how it, things work. The wizened mayor chuckles. Oh no, we welcome youth, but we don't get many settlers coming out this way. Yes, on account of all the tentacles and freaking cloud things that I definitely don't trust. We're happily secluded here, the mayor says. He smiles wistfully as across the march, his mayoral assistant, which is a lovely title, amazing, trounces an unfortunate... At Bowels. Wait, uh, Bowels is a game. I didn't know what that was. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think I know what... I think I've seen it. But I don't know how to play it. Anyway, our best years were spent by others, the wizened mayor glances towards the town hall, where preparations are being made for a performance. We have plans to hopefully change that, though. The colonists are enjoying a second youth on Hybris. Ooh, what are... Why... Mm, well, that's a very common, that's a thing in horror, you know, to have old people behave like kids because of magic. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, I drank this potion that came from this creature of Satan here in the, in the floor of my living room that just appeared. And it gave me this potion and I drank it and now I feel young. And I'm also Satan. That's, that's a very common trope. Not necessarily common, but it's a trope that I know, so I'm going to call it common because I don't know much. Uh, let's, uh, explore the settlement. Or maybe what- no, let's first explore the settlement and see what- what we can do. Hybris has only a handful of buildings clustered among folds of fungus. Indeed it is folds. It reminds me- I don't eat those things, because it's gross. Uh, but pork has this sort of, like, fat folds or something. I don't- I'm not- people fry those things and I don't know what they are. That's, like, gross. But it reminds me of that. And, uh, yeah, gross. Just, ugh. Then, except this- these are whiter than the fat folds, so this is fungus. Are mushrooms like- do mushrooms like that exist? Maybe. Life moves at a slow pace on Hyrus. Several colonists stand the allotments, while others sit squabbling outside the Brandon. Perio periodically, a lady emerges with tea and fungal crackers. Of course. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't they be made of fungus? The uh, carpenter struggles with the fretwork on the new town hall. The carvings are of factories and faceless workers. I can't remember what they look like, he says sadly. Oh, wait. Uh, right, fretwork. Is that like a mortuary? Or not mortuary in the sense, like a obituary, that's the word. I don't know, kind of. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, so that's the settlement. Can I explore again? There's no downside to this. Yeah, he says that again. Let's wander the wilds of Hybris, and uh, swamp and marsh, fungus and frond. Nowhere in the reach has been so thoroughly colonized. It would be a shame not to see the sights. Fingers of black and red mushrooms rise from the sodden ground. Tendrils of white fungus form vast arches. An e earthy smell pervades the air and follows you through the swamps like a lost dog. In the middle of a grove of writhing sacks, you find a plinth adorned with broken and twisted nameplates, the shape of colors. Brabazon Work World has been imprinted on each. Well, there isn't much going on. Even though people are preparing for things. Fair Nance waves. That's a person. Waves as she lights scandals outside the Brendan. Infected fireflies dance from the long uh, around the long match. The wizened mayor calls to you from the balcony of his house. He's going to bed. He rather overdid it at bowls earlier, you see. <laughs> it's a lovely place. I, uh, I must not forget to go to the bazaar and see what we have. Uh, verdant seeds. Well, I don't think I need them. 
Do I have any... I kind of wish we didn't see the completed stuff, but at least it's all at the end, so that's good. Uh, assumed identity, that's not what it is. Uh, it's not sorted by date, which would be helpful. We didn't get... Hmm. I don't have... Uh... Um, I'm not sure what to think of this. There's nothing here. Yeah, we do need to go to uh, Port Prosper. That's where this guy wants to go. Uh, yeah, but I don't, we don't have... Uh, um, not ambitions. What's the word? Opportunities. For some reason. Did I mix, mix it up? Or... Maybe I did. It should be fine. Or maybe I did them all already. I don't know. I, I, th I thought I had picked up new stuff. Uh, that's that's some sack of verdant seeds. I could buy them. I mean, they do sell for the same thing. It's not like, you know, the problem here is the hold. So what I really need is to go trade with the locals. Uh, so I'm buying. Right. I can buy from here as well. No, but no, these are more expensive. Uh, I see. So, let's get supplies. Let's get two supplies. Uh, let's... Three supplies? Yeah. And I can sell things, which probably are not necessary. Let's go... The verdant seeds, uh, they might, might come in handy, and they're pretty cheap. And I should make the best out of my, um... Out of all my travels, shouldn't I? There's only three of them, and I... I get that we, we're gonna... Yeah, let's buy that. Let's be good at this game, shall we? Okay. New bargains available in 30 days. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very kind. Lovely place. I don't know when the game saves, though. So, I'm going back, because we need to go back. Uh, and we're gonna need to go over there, which is gonna be amazing. And I'm definitely not gonna die. Why would I? Turn on fast mode. Not fast mode. Autopilot. Stick to the fat pork bits. That's just, that's, that's a mixture, because that reminds me, at the same time, uh, of a flower, but it, at the same time, reminds me of the, the like, if you, you've seen, uh, like, I think it's silk, um, silk, uh, there's, there's a certain kind of silk that does that as well, it's less stiff, because I'm, I, I don't, I don't have silk stuff, so I don't, I can't really tell. Thank you for the achievement, we, uh, I don't actually know what I did there. Um, okay. Yeah, you're not terrifying at all. Oh my god, okay. Okay, yeah, you guys are good. You guys are good. You stay. There's a thing over there, but I can't mine, so let's not mess with it. I know, I know, it's terrible. I, sorry, I'm so sorry. You guys need to, oh no, this is a dead end. Oh, this is bad news if it's a dead end. On all accounts. This is bad. Why, why am I going this way? Why? No. Well, let's go. Because he loops back. So I suppose it's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think any of this is a good idea. I don't know what these are. Are they lava plants? General's Weave. This is where we are right now for a little bit of extra experience. And we got something. A mentor. Now, what do I want? I want... Hearts. I will just go full on on hearts. A mentor. Oh yeah. And also that pun that adds punches, which is good. I can I have another that doesn't add punch like this. A lost love. Didn't I have that already? What? Which one did I have? Um, I have an interlude in red and gold. Oh, the thing that makes me. That's lovely. You were uh, embroiled in a torrid affair. Hmm. That's yeah. You guys remember, it and everybody was gossiping about it. And over here, let's see, love, the gradual erosion of that which separates you from someone else. That is a very interesting definition of what love is. One that I've never seen. The fitting together of two lives as intricately and intimately as the threads in a tapestry or the cells in your skin. Well, now that's just faff. That's just not, that's not, I don't, they don't like the second one. And when uh, one of those lives ends, what remains of the other? You loved, you lost, how badly does it hurt now? 
let's see, like a gnawing ache, a hole in the heart, or like a fresh wound as red now as it was then. And it makes me punch people, apparently. Uh, let's go with this one. You feel always that something is missing in the middle of the uh, of other things. You will look up and around and then remember that they will never be there. Ah. Such is life. Well, in that case, probably death. Unless we got some kind of eldritch horror going on in here that make pe makes people disappear somehow? I'm... It's bad. It's bad. This world is full of... Uh, mushrooms. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyway, we are out of time for today. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.